Hi everybody, it's nice to be back. If you guys don't remember seeing me for the first time, my name's Ian and I love to make some fishing videos. I went out on Thursday, uh, just gone on the uh, 26th and uh, went out and did some fishing uh, in the Sydney Harbour uh, with some soft plastics and live baits. So I've made a little video for you guys to watch today uh, which just explains where we went and uh, how we got the fish that we got. Uh, so in the morning I went out and uh, I met up with my good friend Tommy here and uh, we went out and had a great day fishing with some soft plastics. And uh, let me show you how it went. In terms of weather and tidal conditions, the day was perfect. Uh, there wasn't much wind, a little bit overcast. Uh, we fished the perfect tide, so we fished the run, most of the run-in tide and a little bit of the run-out. Uh, there was a little bit of swell on, you know, 1.4, maybe up to 1.9, but uh, the good thing was, was that we didn't spend much time out, actually out by the heads uh, and in that direct swell. A lot of the time we spent back inside. Also another cool thing is I've just finished rewiring all my deck lighting. Uh, in the boat and it looks really cool you can see it here and uh, yeah it took me it took me a couple of hours to wire it all up but I'm really proud of it and uh, it sure came in handy on the trip so I put the boat in about 5:30 a.m. I launched from Roseville, that's my favorite spot, and I picked up some liveys from uh, nice and close from there, about five or six in the tank, and then uh, headed off to fish for the day. As you can see with the map, we went down through the river systems, uh, round and under the Spit Bridge area, where I picked up Tommy uh, from Balmoral, and then headed out straight out to Middlehead, and then on to Northhead to test our liveys out. From there, we went back into the Manly Coves, fished those areas with soft plastics, and finished our day at 40 baskets. Our first port of call was um, Middlehead. We put some liveys down. The uh, yellow circles indicate where we found uh, most of the life to be sitting on the bottom, uh, which we sound up over. Uh, what we did was we trolled the liveys just really slowly back and forth over those spots. We did actually get a couple of big hits and our liveys got munched, but uh, we didn't manage to succeed them into hookups. On we went to North Head. Uh, North Head, similar sort of situation, just on that corner piece there. Uh, was where we found some life. Uh, there was a bit too much swell here to successfully run the liveys really well. Uh, we ran a weighted one and an unweighted livey. Uh, we didn't get any any hookups whatsoever. They didn't even touch it. So uh, after about 20 minutes, we left this spot. So from North Head, we moved back around to uh, inside of Manly to a spot called the Spring Coves. Uh, this was really good. Uh, the uh, Yellow uh, circles indicate the best spots to pick up uh, trebs on the bottom and uh, you know uh, flatties or anything like that. Uh, obviously, the arrows indicate where we're you know we're throwing our plastics. Uh, I find light jig-headed wrigglers, tea tails, all work really well here. Uh, when you cast out, especially first few casts, uh, keep a bit of tension in the line as it, as it sinks, uh, and you you almost always get hit the first. Uh, the first you know couple of casts as it drops to the bottom for the first time. That's almost always when the uh, trebs pick it up. Going? All right, cool. All right, so we're over uh, near the Manly uh, on the National Park side. The spot's always good. Sandy bottom. The trebs love to uh, hang on the bottom. And uh, I always, uh, they love little light, big-headed, oh shit, I lost him. Oh, you son of a bitch. So, this is more like it. After I dropped my Trev, we picked up a uh, good sized flounder. We'll measure him in a second. He's definitely legal though. And Tommy, wait up, let us net him. Don't try and bring that on board. Look to the top lip. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, good size, buddy. Well done, Tommy. 
Mate, nice take. Uh, that's a good job. Brilliant. Yeah. All right, let's measure him up. Hey, my boy. Oh, very nice. 48 centimetres. 48 centimetres. That's nice. Happy with that. All right. Nice little flounder. He's definitely legal. 25 centimeters is the legal limit for flounder. I believe this boy is about 31, 32. So pop him in the kill tank too. He'll uh, he'll make a delicious dinner. Yeah, they always jump on here. Uh, or, or you pretty much cast in, into a new area, and then um, on the uh, on the drop, you just uh, keep a little bit of tension as it drops down, and then you'll feel them strike straight away. Uh, yeah, yay for trend. Oh, shit. It's not. He's alright. I think he's legal. Yeah, oh yeah, he's legal, alright. Yeah, it's a valley. A lot of fun to catch. We'll make our parking sound. Uh, we'll measure him up. Well, we're lucky. He was barely, uh, barely holding on. He's, uh... <laughs> uh, he's just over 30 centimeters. We might then just uh, put this little guy back. Let him fight another day. We don't want to keep anything that's, you know, only just legal. There he goes. Yeah, they have so much fun. Tommy's hooked onto a little brim. Small, but uh, fun all the same. Anything, all the things you want. You keep as far, but you never go there. Final part of the trip ended at uh, Baskets. The yellow line here, uh, as you can see, that indicates uh, the drop off. Uh, so where it goes from about seven, eight meters right up to about two and a half, three meters. So this is a really good spot to uh, throw plastics up and down all along that yellow line. Uh, you get uh, really good fish, uh, especially flathead hanging off that, uh, off that drop off. Uh, now a lot of people write this spot off, which is fine. Uh, I actually disagree. When you, if you fish it in the right tidal conditions, and that is uh, especially towards the end of the run-in, you know, say the last hour and a half, uh, it does really well. A lot of big fish come in there, kings, salmon, um, I've seen so really sizable mullet and whiting. Uh, they come and hunt along the flats there. You can see there's weed patches to that sort of top left section of it. And yeah, they absolutely love it. And uh, obviously they do fairly well, as you can see uh, in the video that follows. Right, we're good. Yeah, he's pretty heavy. Whoa. He's uh, smashing the rod. Definitely got a fight. Oh yeah, yeah, he's decent. We're trying to drag a little. Oh, he got off. That's all right. We're off. So we're up at uh, the baskets, and uh, 
Look at the size of this whiting. Let's measure him. You take the camera. Holy shit. He's huge. 43 centimeters. 43 centimeter whiting. So, um, yeah, I think it's legal. Only just though. Wow, he's huge. I think we should chase those kingies now. Yeah, all right, let's do that. Well, that's it. All done now. We're here to the uh, We've uh, run out of time, unfortunately. Well, that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And, uh, I hope some of you guys found it helpful or informative if you're uh, new and just getting into it. Uh, I know Poppy here and uh, Tom did. They had a great day, uh, and I had a good time too. I mean, I think we did pretty well. So uh, if you have any further questions, feel free to uh, post and, uh, or message me. Um, and uh, we hope you guys will join us uh, next time we go out in the water. Thanks very much. <laughs>